morning. How is everyone? Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Good morning. Uh, thanks for your patience, as always. Seems like I always seem to have some technical difficulties. I got record and I'm sharing my screen. This girl. At the end, I can show you all of the pictures. I can show you pictures of Danny crawling because he started doing that this week. We are all sorts of fun going on. What in the world is going on on this other screen? Okay, we're just gonna roll with it. Good morning. It's Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I was, right, before Jason left, I was trying to convince him that we needed a theme song for the Summit Your Live, as well as custom mugs that said Live with Jason and Paula, like Regis and Kelly, or Kathy Lee, or Ryan Seacrest, or whichever era that we've watched. And it has yet to happen, but now I think I'm just going to make them and insert a blank name that we can just write for whoever my co-host is. And guest. The Paula Show, plus one. I could just move it. Wow. You are conceited today. I am. <laughs> has everyone met Todd? This is Todd. I'm well known. We have our festive cups today. Mm-hmm. Happy holidays, everybody. Tis the season. I finally got all of our holiday decor out at my house. It took three weeks longer than normally to get it out, but I found my favorite mug. I love mugs. It was. I didn't put out nearly half of the things as I normally do. I didn't last year because last year I was almost nine months pregnant. And then this year I have a small child who crawls. So we got our tree out and we got our holiday dishes. And that's pretty much where we stopped. But I'm happy about it. She's beat me. My tree's just sitting on the front porch. <laughs> Waiting to be brought in. Well, apparently the house had to be roombud before the tree could be brought in. So, you so know. then the tree can make it dirty again. You know, I don't argue logic with the light. Do your um, dogs get annoyed when you bring nature in? No. Nope. No? We had to get an artificial tree because my dog liked to eat real trees because she, um, her favorite thing to do when we go jeeping she sticks her head out the window and she'll grab tree branches off. And then the back of the Jeep is full of nature. Um, and I didn't put two and two together the first year we got a real tree and it didn't go so great. So now we have an artificial one that she leaves alone. And all of my ornaments are on the top half of my tree. <laughs> so it looks a little silly, but that's okay. Event review. Some of the people in this room were at this event. Uh, we had our annual ladies' holiday lunch. Uh, the ladies do a monthly uh, lunch, and then for the holiday one, they do a, a holiday program, as you can see down here. Um, super, super creative song. Um, Mary Lee, fantastic with the entertainment committee. Excellent job. Uh, we had a, a bagel who made an appearance. She was fantastic. Um, but it was great. We did, Mary Lee, remind me of the organization that you collected for? Helping Hand House. Wow. 523 items collected at that luncheon. Yes. Yeah, it was like Santa's sleigh while we were loading all of the things out to the car um, and having to redistribute shampoo bottles and things because I am not Todd and I do not work out so I could not carry those heavy boxes. It's true. Um, but yeah, so this was a great one. This was my first holiday luncheon here that I've been able to help with because it's been COVID for the last couple of years. So it's been on a hiatus. Um, so it was great to see this event that I've always heard rumor of and heard wonderful things about come to life. So wasn't it great to watch Paula dance in the back too? Yeah. We actually stopped in the gym because we had a direct line into Paula doing her holiday dancing back there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the team, uh, our mantle team was in the back and we were all kind of bebopping around. And at one point I was like, y'all, come on. 
let's just go. And so we did a little conga line through and ran into some chairs, but it was fine. We recovered quickly. <laughs> um, there's no video proof, just eyewitnesses that have it burned into their memory forever. <laughs> No, nope, that's just Paula. <laughs> that's just me. Uh, so Trilogy Survivor Pool, we had a local winner. Denise Cicliano um, went all the way. This is a uh, national programming. So people from all trilogies participate in this. And she won a $50 Lodge facility gift card. Cool. So... That was pretty awesome. Um, for those of you not familiar with Survivor Pool, you make picks every week. Uh, I think John McLeod has won almost every year except for this one. So that was kind of an upset there, um, but it's a fun one. So that is uh, wrapped up and and we're ready to congratulate Denise. So excellent. Good job, Denise. One Day University. You wanna talk about One Day University? Got a couple of exciting events coming up for One Day University. It looks like on 12-12, Monday, yeah, Monday, we have mm -hmm. Charles Lindbergh, The Complicated Story of an Infamous Life. Uh, follow the next day, 12-13, Tuesday, Alzheimer's and Dementia, What We Know Now. And then finally, we'll wrap up the holiday one day universities on 12-15, The Wisdom of Don Quixote, Rethinking the World's First Novel. Mm -hmm. And forever being afraid of windmills. Mm -hmm. Well, lucky for you. I avoided that... making those puns. How dare you, Ron? <laughs> there are so many. I went, not the crowd for it, Ron. <laughs> Leave it to Ron. Um, but the exciting thing is, I already have January scheduled. So that's exciting. Um, our concierge team will be helping me populate those tomorrow, so you should be starting to see those appear on the calendar. Uh, but as always, lots of great options, so it's going to be a jam-packed one-day university. Holiday wine sale. Um, this coming Wednesday and the 21st, we will be having a retail wine sale in the Grand Living Room from 3 to 8 p.m., um, it's a great opportunity. We'll have a variety of price points. If you've ever come to our Sip and Shop event, similar idea, but not ticketed. Um, just come as you are if you need some holiday gifts, if you're hosting a holiday event, if you're going to someone's house, or if you're just wanting to find a delicious cab to try. Uh, Catherine just helped me find a Dow Pinot Noir which was phenomenal. I usually, I'm very stereotypical and I like Oregon Pinot Noir, but this is a California Central Coast Pinot Noir and it was interesting to taste the difference between the two. It was a little bit more kind of even keel, I would say, less big flavor, but it was good. So um, holiday wine sale, free free to stop on by anytime during that time period. So if you're here for happier hour, feel free to pop on by and do some shopping. And Ron, if you forget, there's another day. Yes. <laughs> we do it twice. Yeah. Ugly sweater walk. Uh, I'm going to keep talking about this one because I love it. Um, my parents live over in the Rainier community. And it's really fun dropping Danny off in the morning because a lot of the houses around there have their trees that are in front windows. And so when I'm driving into work on my short little commute, it's really fun to see everyone's trees and their windows and the lights on and there's some great garlands and uh, what's that word for the, like a short garland, not a wreath, uh, what? Swag, that's it. Thank you, Sarah. Some swag, now that I know that word. You already knew the word, you said no, it was applied to that. It's true, Yeah, that's true. Um, I didn't either. Learned we learned too. something today. We learned something today. What swag really means. Fantastic work. Um, but so this year, what I'm thinking is we'll go a different route than we normally go um, and try and preview some of those fun trees. So it'll be good. Uh, I'll be there. Yep. Todd comes. Uh, maybe with your pup. Pups. Pups. Pup squared. Literal. <laughs> 
in the fam. Maybe. Mm -hmm. It's a fun one. We have light up necklaces. Um, we'll go on our walk, rain or not shine, right? Rain or moonlight, I guess you could say. Um, or clouds. Or clouds. Oh, yeah. uh, this event goes on, and then we come back here and we'll warm back up with uh, Jason's famous hot apple cider. So that'll be a fun one. A little good community gathering right before the big holiday there. Zoo lights. We're going to zoo lights on Wednesday the 28th. Uh, this one just got posted. Have you been to Zoo Lights at Point Defiance before? Sure the heck have. How is it? It's beautiful. Tell me about it. Uh, well, it does change slightly every year. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you, it's been a few years because of COVID, but we were, for many years when my little kiddos uh, were smaller, were Zoo members. And mm -hmm. part of your membership, you got Zoo Light tickets. Oh, that's cool. And it was really good because you could get your friends in too. Mm -hmm. So uh, we went many years. You get to walk the entire zoo. Uh, they have lights set up <clears throat> all around it, plus festive things going on for the family to do. It, it is beautiful. It, it's quite uh, uh, a task they take on mm -hmm. in the, uh, for us here in the Point Fine, So mm -hmm. I went when I was in college with my family and uh, got to ride a camel. My sister and I were the only above seven-year-olds in the line to ride the camel, but we asked the man who was working if we could do it, and he was like, yeah, why not? And we're like, Great, and then we're gonna ride this camel, and it was one of the coolest experiences. Because now I can say it's really good for two truths and a lie. Ah. I've ridden a camel before, and it had bells on, and it was really fun and festive. Um, but Zoo Lights is great. Woodland Park Zoo up north. I grew up a block from there, um, and they also do their own version, but it's um, lanterns. So it's um, kind of a different interpretation of zoo lights, but that's another really great experience if you're looking for another holiday festivity to do. Um, Village. Yeah, and Chan 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 Village Wild Waves. <clears throat> um, my personal favorite holiday tradition is Candy Cane Lane in Seattle, uh, right in the U District area. When you're going up kind of that, what is that, 8th? can't remember, but there's this neighborhood that every year, every house decorates and they have music outside and they have spotlights so that you can see everything. Uh, they do a donation drive. Tomorrow, they're going to have carolers walking Candy Cane Lane. Um, so I might try and swing up there with my family and see if we can do that. But if you're ever in the Seattle area, I highly suggest checking out um, I've heard rumor that it's actually in their like community HOA rules that they have to decorate because it's such a a thing. They were talking about it on the news this morning. Like it's. Do you guys all love the Christmas lights? Are they nice? Do you enjoy them? If you can't make it to Seattle, not quite that scale. Candy Lane, Candy Cane Lane's on the news every year, mm -hmm. multiple times. It is huge popular. But your own Sky Island right here in mm -hmm. Bonnie Lake. Uh, has a singular block in it that does a tremendous job mm -hmm. of lighting too. So if you want something just a little closer home or you want to add them all to your list and do them all, I suggest just taking a little drive. Uh, it's six minutes for you mm -hmm. to get over there to Sky Island and see their light display. It's, it's pretty impressive for the area. And then you can just loop because you can go down Roads Lake Road, Sky yes. Island, and then up 410. Yep. There's a huge one in Lakewood, too. I don't know the name of it, but there's a massive, hmm. like, candy cane lane size. I'll have to look that one up. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, so Zoo Lights, uh, tickets are posted. We have timed entry. Leslie is going to be doing this one. Um, we will be meeting here at 3.30. We're going to the first entry so that we have primo parking opportunities. Parking is complimentary, but it does get busy. So I was thinking it'd be good to go on the early side so that we make sure that we don't have to hop on the shuttle that takes you down. Um, so we have 4.30 time to entry, and then Leslie is going to be going down to Point Rustin afterwards. Um, she loves Ice Cream Social. So for anyone who wants to go, she will be there. She said Point Rustin is also very beautifully decorated for the holidays. Doing the ice rink again this year? Uh, I don't know. Because they've been doing the ice skating rink on I haven't heard Rustin. anything. There might be ice skating. I don't know. We'll see. But this will be a fun one. How much is this event? Uh, this one is fourteen dollars plus tax. That's a great deal for Zoo mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'll be a fun one. So that is posted, um, and then I bought a limited amount of tickets to start. But this is one where I have the ability to purchase more. So if you want to go and it sells out, please get on the wait list because I can 
purchase more for you. And uh, New Year's Eve, we have a couple tickets left. This is going to be, shockingly enough, December 31st. What? It just happens to be every year that. I don't know. It's amazing how it falls on that day. Yeah, it's every year. Uh, from 9 to 12, we have food stations. It's a full lodge event. So the lodge closes at 3 p.m. that day. Uh, we put the pool floor up. We clear out furniture. We have a full team here decorating. I got our ice luge ordered. Um, it's lots of fun. As this for drinking, not sliding down. Guys. Yes. Before you get too excited. Yeah. Or it depends on the time luge. of the night. Um, but this one's a fun one. We have DJ coming, photo booth. Uh, we'll be activating almost every room in the lodge. So that's how we're able to have 250 people is we creatively use the entire footprint of the lodge. So uh, we'll be doing a station in Hudson's, pasta station will be in there. Just lots of creativity goes into this event on our end and we love to share it with the members. So it's a cool way to be able to see the lodge transformed into a very multi-purpose facility. Um, please note, the doors open at 9. <laughs> what time do the doors open, everyone? 9. Yeah, not 8.30, not 8.45. Um, the reason for that is that it's usually up until the last minute that we are trying to make sure that everything is perfect. That ice luge specifically, we have to be very timely with it. So there's a reason that we have that time. So... Um, if you come early, you're welcome to hang out in your car or outside, but uh, please be respectful of that time. We will also have wristbands available um, for pickup the week of the event for those registered so that we can help expedite the check-in process. So all you have to do is rather than everyone standing outside, you show me your wristband. Shocking, it's going to be glittery. <laughs> so you'll show me your glitter and then you can come on in and then I'll cross you off later. But then that way we don't have 250 members outside trying to enter. So um, if you forget your wristband or if you don't pick it up, we will have a separate check-in line uh, for those that haven't picked it up. So we'll be organized, it'll be great, it's a fun one. Um, our team looks forward to it. Our team right now loves participating and they're really excited for New Year's Eve. Um, just like Thanksgiving, it's an, a chance to spend it with our lodge family. So we're excited for this one. Um, beverages are included, foods included, and then we do a champagne toast at midnight as well. So really fun one. Um, we put a lot of work into it. So we love seeing everyone come on out for dress code. Some people, there's no official dress code. Some people use it as an opportunity to bring out their nicest gear that they have but it is not required. We will not turn you away at the door if you are not fully suited out. Um, be mindful that uh, of your shoes, right? We're gonna be dancing, wandering, chit-chatting, um, all those good things. We will have coat racks, so we will uh, be able to check coats, but it's a fun one. Not yet. There's still tickets left. I think there's five when I checked yesterday, maybe more. But it's a fun one. Calendars are here. Calendars are there. Take calendars one. are outside in the grand living room. Um, for the calendars, these are our national lifestyle team. Put these together. Yeah, Vanna, do you want to get one for us? Oh. Yes, there is our calendar. Um, it features each property as a different month. Um, so they'll have pictures. You'll see, I just saw Bucky Walter in there. Um, you'll see pictures of your neighbors. It has all of the national themes for the month. So whether it's uh, motion month or um, bourbon week or whatever it is, you'll see all of those things in this calendar. So you'll know what's coming up. Um, it is the national calendar, so it's not everything that we are doing exclusively. I wish I could put that together, but I cannot. Um, so this just gives you an idea of what's coming. So uh, good things to look forward to on there. But please feel free to take one. Um, some great shots in here. Yeah, there's some great pictures in there.
So feel free to take one with you. Uh, use it. Look, Sue has one. I do. I was wondering which property has the elephants. Uh, which property has the Oh, um, that would be, uh, I was trying to think of something quippy and I can't. It's too early. That was from one of the Explore 360 trips. Yes, I know. But I was trying to think of like a rapid fire response. And I couldn't. If you go to Zoo Lights, you'll see elephants. There it is. Took me a minute, but I got there. Um, but yeah, so those calendars are up. That's a good sneak peek of what's coming. Did you want to talk about your upcoming history walk? Yes. We are going to do the ever so popular Sumner for December, mostly because it's already getting late in December and it's nice close ones. So if the weather's icky or cold, you're not going too far. For those of you that <clears throat> didn't like the hills, not that anybody in this room didn't like the hills. All the people that walked with me a couple of weeks ago loved the hills, right? 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 Uh, we're going to do downtown Sumner and we're going to do a little twist on it this time. I am going to partner with one of the local coffee places in downtown Sumner and uh, your small fee to join me will include a hot beverage or snack. If you don't feel like having a coffee or tea, you can grab a snack while you're there. So I cannot tell you which yet because I'm in the works with several to find out who would like to accommodate our group. But Sumner is pretty fascinating. It was started actually even a little before Tacoma. So those of you that will join me on Tacoma, there's some really fun facts about Sumner that I didn't even know and I've lived there 18 years. So just learned it when I started doing the tour. So it's a fun tour. Uh, do expect to walk a couple miles. It won't be as far as the last one. We zigzag a little bit on the last one, but uh, it will be a couple mile, mile jaunt. Lots of stopping, though. It's not like a trek anywhere, um, but some, some beautiful stuff in summer. So we'll be doing summer, and that will be the day after Christmas. 26. Only because every Sunday is an event coming up. We've got Christmas, we've got New Year's, and I can't do it this next Sunday. So uh, I had to pick a Monday. It'll be the day after Christmas, the 26th of December. Most likely joined by my ever so amazing back home from college daughter. She'll be having a different kind of hot beverage, huh? Yeah, because someone turned 21. So, yeah, so join me. It'll be a good one. Yeah, you had a good turnout for the last one. We're excited to yeah. do a second one. I was just noticing that our Trilogy Car Club was featured not once, but twice. So that's exciting. That is exciting. Don McLeod's car is in there. And then the, um, I can't remember whose Jeep this is, but the World War II Jeep, I think it is, is in there. So. No, no, no. Pardon? No. Not yet. just came to terms last night and then picked the day this morning. This is hot so off the presses. Yeah, it is. It is. In. So you just, you just refresh that Sandy, song. apparently, when you. I can't you advance that. register people, Todd. It's not advanced. It's once you posted it. <laughs> She's yes, funny. Jeanette. Oh. Have Sandy add you. She's apparently VIP around this place. I'm not starting that rumor. She got a free week of lunch. Remember Leslie promising her a free week of lunch? No. Uh, it was on your watch, so. Mm. It wasn't on my golly dog. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yep. We will meet at the lodge at 9, as always work our way down there's actually a couple stops we'll make in our vehicles there's some homes on the outskirts i'd like to show you before we get into town um we usually take a couple car stops then we'll end up parking at the cannery and then we'll start our our larger walk from the cannery so if you know where the cannery is it's a large furniture store that wasn't always a furniture store <laughs> as if you can't tell what it was based on its name uh and it's a great location to start the history walk portion mm -hmm. Any questions about the walk or otherwise? No? Great. Well, thank you everyone for coming. I hope you have a great week uh, and we will see you next Saturday. You know, does anybody here wonder why we didn't get to talk about our amazing hockey event follow up? Where was those pictures? We had a great time at the oh, hockey sorry. event and we didn't get listed. So thank you all that joined us for the hockey event. It was actually an exciting game of hockey, but what was really exciting what was the teddy bear donations. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. It was pretty amazing. They did it uh, after the very first goal was scored by the Thunderbirds. I've never seen so many stuffed animals in my life be hurled onto the ice. <laughs> 
the the throwing of the stuffed animals lasted 15 minutes. It's wild. It was nonstop. And, and it took them another 20 minutes to scoop them all up onto tarps and get them off of the ice. I mean, we saw people come in looking like Santa Claus with bags filled uh, awesome. with stuffed animals. And it was an exciting event to see the community care that much about the event, having a little fun. Um, yeah, and, and do all that. So it was a really, really good event. And I heard there were a couple good fights. There was a more than a couple of good yeah. fights. I was sad I missed this one. Yes. Yeah, there was some I bad heard there blood. Were some some gloves thrown yes. early on and everyone else backed up and I was like, I always miss the good ones. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Hunches landed. Next year. Piro's going. Piro and Todd. It's gonna be great. I got it. Can't wait. Knuckles. Anyways, thanks for joining us, everyone. Thank you.